Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Quick video today, probably won't even be five minutes. We got three topics to cover, and we're just gonna be up out of here. First thing, Markel Folks' shoulder. It's um. They said the reason that his shooting percentage is so bad this season and the reason that his free throws are just so abysmal is because he had some fluid in his shoulder or what have you. They came out and denied it, said he had a cortisone shot in his shoulder. We don't really know what's going on. All we know is there's something going on with his shoulder. He did indeed have the cortisone shot, so we know that for sure. But uh, they said they drained some fluid off of it, and then they came back and said retracted that statement or what have you. But the biggest thing of it is there's something going on with his shoulder. He's not this bad. You know, he's going to play better. But Ben Simmons has been picking up the slack anyway, man, and Joel and B. So, you know, it really, really hasn't mattered as much. But what they're saying is this is something, this is some type of nagging injury that he has with his shoulder. They're working it out. He will get better over time. And, um, you know, by, by mid-season or in a couple of weeks, he should be the Markel folks that everybody thought they were going to get. And uh, I, I probably don't disagree with him, man, because when you have, it's nothing worse in this world than a nagging injury. If you have an injury and you are really hurting and you can't get over it, then uh, that, it, it really, really, really sucks. I had a high ankle sprain, and man, it took me a long time. It took like three years for that thing to go away and stop bothering me. And, uh, you know, but I was in my, I was obviously over 30. But that doesn't have anything to do with me. He's a supremely conditioned athlete. He should have bounced right back this season. All right, so uh, on to the next thing that we're talking about today. And that is Lonzo Ball going against John Wall tonight. Now, Martin Gortat tweeted out, you know, that uh, Ball, I mean, that Wall is going to kill Ball. I guess it's going to be balls to the wall type of affair. And um, it's going to be hard for me to disagree with him, man, because it, he tweeted it out what, much, much worse than that, and I don't have the tweet right now. But... He said that he, he, he's pretty much going to kill him. And if you saw what De'Aaron Fox did twice against him, you, you probably would be inclined to agree with him. Like, uh, John Wall is, is, is shorter than, than Lonzo Ball, but he's stronger than Lonzo Ball, and he's much faster than Lonzo Ball. So this is going to be a good game tonight. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I, don't, I mean, I, I really feel like Washington probably is going to go in there and blow doors. But what type of night is Ball going to have? Is Ball going to rise to the occasion? Or is he just going to lay down like he always seems to and not really do a whole lot? I really don't know how this is going to work out. If I had to guess, I would probably say that uh, it's going to be pretty bad for the young man tonight, man. Like, he might he might have his points, but I guarantee John Wall. John, well, I'm not saying that he circled this on his calendar, but John Wall will get his money tonight. I promise you that. And, um... Like I said, I, I don't know if, if Ball is going to just respond and, and come back at him and be going right back at him, but he might. Uh, will, will he even have the wherewithal to do that? Will they design a defense to go at him and, and so he can't do it? Or what? We have no clue. But i tell you one thing. He has he has to come and bring it tonight. Because if you don't bring it tonight, the, the headlines tomorrow are just going to be crazy. Just tell him he can't play. He doesn't rise to the occasion. He doesn't... Uh, respond to competition. It's going to be real ugly. And then uh, Gortat's going to be right. But, uh, you know, that is what it is. We're definitely going to see. And last but not least, we're going to talk about Eric Bledsoe. Now, Eric Bledsoe, they already said he's not going to come back to the Phoenix Suns. I don't know where he's going to go. I don't know where he has the potential to go. I don't know who's going to pick him up. We don't know any of that. All we know is he won't be going back to the Phoenix Suns because the owner already said so. Now, some people said that uh, DeAndre Jordan had already been cited on Twitter as saying, you know, come on home, bro, and all that good stuff. And you got some of the other people in the league wanting to get him. Now, what they should have done is let him go in the middle of the uh, free agency period and let him go to Cleveland, and, and then they may have been able to get something for him in Cleveland. And Cleveland, you know, would have been would have, would have had a little bit better somebody than uh Probably Derrick Rose, but but Cleveland's roster is set right now. So we know 100% he's not going to Cleveland. Um, I really don't know where he could go. And the reason for that is they're saying that they really want a good young prospect for Eric Bledsoe, which at this point in his career, how could you even say that? Is he even worth a good young prospect? Would you even want a good uh, want to give up a good young prospect? If you got a good young prospect, why do you want to give up? Why do you want Eric Bledsoe is all I'm, I'm really trying to say. Like, unless you're in desperate need of a point guard. And I can't think of a team right now that's in desperate need, desperate need enough of a point guard where they would want to give up a good young prospect for Eric Bledsoe. But if you guys know of one, let me know because I'm definitely interested. I'm definitely interested. But that's all we got for y'all guys today, man. Like I said, five easy minutes. And um, I'm going to I'm gonna try to keep this format just like this. 
And uh, as soon as I get my, my joint uh, approved with Broadband TV, I'll be bringing you the sports shorts and just kind of, you know, commentating over these things. But I'm out of here, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mug.